是做这个翻译的，翻译的，嗯，基本上还是很清楚的，里面有些不清楚的地方也没关系，回去以后咱们自己看。前面那个他的主要思想呢，就是他对这个马克思的，他用自己的原结构理论对马克思的这个原结构理论进行批判，他认为马克思的原结构理论存在这个结构上的问题，嗯，就刚才小贺讲的结构上的问题。这个问题就是，这个统治阶层过去统治阶层和基础阶层，统治阶层忽视了这个组织这一阶层。那么刚才这个表格，就失业物业这个表格上这一段，所谓特权猫利，我们讲领导权或者霸权，它这个意思就是说，这个从这个霸权这个角度来说呢，那个组织阶层它有这个 domination， 就是这个主导阶级有两个部分，一个部分呢是靠它的那个财产起霸权作用，这就是资本家。另一部分呢，是靠他这个能力、知识起霸权作用，这就是精英阶层，这是这个意思。那基础阶级呢，他就是充满劳动力的。嗯，啊，这霸权是这么理解的，就是就是霸权会主宰、主导。他凭什么来主导这个社会？他凭什么就是占据了这个霸权地位？他是凭着自己的财产。一方面，一个是就是他们说的两两端，一端是凭财产，另一端是凭他的知识和能力。Yes, yes, I remember now. Very nice to meet you again in Beijing. I I want could you please tell me what difference between the working class and the fundamental? Yes, uh, it's a good question. I had a discussion with this with my friend Alex Kalinikos, who is a, a great Marxist, uh, a British Marxist scholar. Uh, but I, uh, the inspiration comes in certain sense from Tony Negri. Tony Negri speaks of multitude. But uh, a multitude is more, it's an interesting uh, word because it, uh, it, it gives the idea that the things come from below, from, from the people, not from the top. Uh, and, uh, but a multitude is more a theological word and not related to class analysis. And the Marxist usually uh, use the word exploited class or dominated class or subaltern class or working class. <laughs> but I, I find that uh, I think those words are, are paternalistic, you see? Paternalistic. So the, that is from, seen from the top, from, you see? It's very good that they're exploited, they're dominated, but that's an aristocratic view on those people. Those people, they feel themselves as the normal people, you see, as the normal people. And they are not only exploited, they are not only dominated, they are not only working, but they create the world. They are also dancing. <laughs> they create music uh, on the world. Few people invented the, the modern music, and also the, the master of paintings were r poor people, and also people who make great discovery in laboratories are ordinary people. So uh, I think those those world exploited, dominated, and so that's very good, but a little paternalistic. But uh, but pattern is father. It comes from father. You know, you know, paternalistic is the, uh, it's a word from upper. You saw from 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 poor. They are poor, but they don't feel poor. They feel normal people, and they are the normal people uh, that that uh, that produce and that uh, invent the the world. And those on the top. They manage as they can, and organizes organization and 
the market. That also that is a common research in in which uh, also the fundamental class exists. That's the general idea. Fundamental这个概念想来就是去界定一个从底层来的那个那些那些人就底层那些阶级那个马斯主义的区分呢他认为还是有点有些过时的因为就是他他因为我听不是很清楚他有的权利好像马斯主义从上面还是来看待这个
firm in each branch. And at this moment, the, uh, the nation is prepared for socialism. You think? The great myth of the 20th, 20th century is this march from market to organization. But, in fact, it's not like that. It's, uh, it's, uh, well, Marx is a great genius, but that's a mistake. Because market and organization are from the very beginning from the Italian city. And if you take also, log if you analyze logically the structure of, of, of modern society, market and organization are the two patterns, the two uh, possibilities. And if <laughs> Marx had uh, mastered his theory, he would have put organization at the beginning of uh, his explanation. In the first chapter, he would have be begin with market and organization. But he, did, he, he doesn't. Only in the chapter before the manufacture, suddenly you have a, a chapter called the cooperation. Uh, chapter uh, uh, 11, I think. In the, uh, uh, there is before the, the, the chapter on uh, uh, modern in, industry and, uh, and uh, manufacture, you have a short chapter on cooperation. And suddenly he thinks, ah, well, uh, up to now we, we talked about market. But there is another thing, which is cooperation. But what he called cooperation is organization, where uh, the, the several people uh, work together. There is a, 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 a boss, <laughs> there is a manager uh, who has authority and, and so on. But he didn't quite really... Marx is a big inventor, but uh, while well, he is an inventor, he can manage totally its his uh, invention. That is why organization is not ambiguous. Uh, it's not an ambiguous, uh, but is a, is, a, is a term that the Marxian tradition has not really uh, 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 the, the cipher has not really uh, clearly it identified as, a, as the uh, m matching piece with the uh, market. You know? Although Marx is the inventor of that, and if you if you look at the uh, institutional uh, uh, ec economic theory uh, among Americans, well, the idea that market and organization are the two possibility that is widespread, and also if you look all the, the great sociology, uh, Habermas or Bourdieu, they they clearly identify these two poles not only economically but also socially and that has something to, to, to do with the great problem of political philosophy uh, modern political philosophy is always the liberty from uh, each to each and the liberty of all together you see no. sorry it's uh, quite a long story <laughs> Just now, perhaps to save time, you passed part two, three, hmm. word system. Uh -huh. Could you give us uh, the main idea uh, of word system in two or three sentences? Hmm. Okay, thank you. Very, very briefly. Yeah. Can you say your life structure? 
theory to explain the national state and the world system. No, what no. is the difference? No, no. And the, what is the difference between your opinion and the neighboring opinion of the neighboring? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, uh, well uh, uh, the, what I explained today is more inside the, the nation. The, the, the nation state because it's not by chance that capitalism what we call capitalism I, I think capitalism is not really the convenient uh, term because you are always capitalist and competent from the very beginning in, all, in the Italian city but uh, uh, for some historical reason we call that capitalism well uh, Capitalism, not by chance, emerges always in national, uh, in, in nation state. At the beginning, they were very small, and with the uh, developing of uh, productive forces, it couldn't be larger, because uh, uh, such uh, a, a form of society uh, at the beginning could exist only in very small. Uh, uh, city, because uh, the means of communication, the means of control, were very weak. Uh, but uh, uh, as the, it expanded, you could have this sort of society on a larger scale, where uh, a, a central power could control, also people could communicate, communicate with with a common language. At least a written language and so on. You, you must have a common language because it's not only a question of domination, it's a domination of, of free people, free people who discuss together, who, who, who compete and, and so on. So, uh, well, but uh, in the modern, the modern world, there are such uh, uh, nation state where there is always a metastructural presupposition that you are supposed to be free, equal, and rational, and you are addressed as such. And you, you, you are supposed to be under a common power that is your common power, that you choose more or less. Yeah? Uh, since uh, Hobbes said that, yeah? you choose the, the most powerful to pull order, but you are supposed to, to choose it, all, all of you.